Hello, this is Tolwood Trifle Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a mesh that you're trying to rig. Uh, sometimes in Blender, when you try to, uh, when you've made your mesh, you try to apply a rig to it with automatic weights. It doesn't actually um, calculate it properly. Sometimes it doesn't calculate it at all, and you just end up having a mesh that has has no rig attached to it. Um, right now, I've clicked. I've made this character here as a pilot, and the body has been rigged to uh, this armature, but the clothing has not been. And if you look in the vertex groups, you can see you can tell that it hasn't been rigged yet because of the fact that there are, aren't any vertex groups in this area right here. So now we're going to apply this. Uh, mesh which is the clothing of the pilots to the rig and let's change the um, uh, the state of this rig from pose mode to object mode and now we're going to click on the mesh and then click on our rig and then press control P and from this pop-up menu you will usually choose with automatic weights and what it would do what blender does is automatically um, attach your rig to uh, the mesh and it does a pretty good job of it most of the time but sometimes it doesn't do a good job at all so let's click on this and see what happens okay see it says here this warning here it says bone heat waiting failed to well let's pull this down the warning will still be up here let's pull this up okay there it is it says bone heat waiting failed to find solution to one or more bones and that means that the mesh it has not been paired to the rig at all and we can confirm that by clicking on our rig and pressing pose mode let's grab this bone again and you can see the shirt is not moving at all but the reason why we did that also was to create vertex groups for our mesh so that we don't have to guess what they are and now in order to fix this what we can do is, you know, our our, our rig is already our mesh is already uh, activated, but because you can tell it's got this orange um, outline on it, and then from here you go down to the bottom of your window, click on that, and turn to weight paint. And from other tutorials, I've mentioned that whenever a mesh is in weight paint mode for rigging, when it's completely blue, that means there are no um, it's not attached to any mesh or any rig at all, as you can tell. It's all blues. That means it's, there's no attachment to the bones at all. And when it's red, that means it's completely attached. But let's go back out to object mode. And what we want to do is we want to uh, connect this part of our mesh to uh, this um, this bone here, which is the upper arm left. So once we've clicked on that, you see it disappears. Our vertex group disappears in this area because we're working on a bone and not the mesh. And let's click back on our mesh, and our vertex group uh, uh, comes up again. And then when you turn it from object mode to weight paint, then the bone we just uh, selected appears here. And from here, after you've uh, changed the mode to weight paint, you click on that again and go into edit mode. And now you can actually uh, attach this part of the mesh to the bone. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to select uh, this part of the mesh, which is the upper left arm of the, the shirt here. Hold down Alt and then click. It has to be in face mode, uh, which you can activate down here from the selection. Make sure that this orange box is selected. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and right click. It selects this whole set of, of uh, vertices here. Then hold down Shift and Alt at the same time and then click again and it adds that selection to your previous selection. And we're going to do that all the way up to uh, this part of the shirt where we feel that we want the uh, mesh to be connected to the bone. And then down here, I usually uh, set the weight uh, strength down to 50% or 0.5. You can use your. Uh, you can use the controllers uh, on the weight paint by holding down, hovering over uh, the number here, then holding down the left mouse button and dragging it. Or you can just click on it and click again. 
uh, press slash on your keyboard divided by 2 and press enter it goes straight to 0.5 and then you click assign and then when, once we've done that let's go back to our the bottom of our window here and click on that and go to weight paint and now it's green which means that this bone or the mesh has been added to this bone and to confirm that let's click on our uh, bottom of the window again and change the mode to optic mode and then click on our mesh again and then press G and now as you can see our mesh is attached to the bone so you do that process for every aspect of the uh, bone and the mesh until you get every part of your uh, character's mesh uh, completely weighted to the bone so in conclusion in order to, it's, it's still kind of a back and forth kind of uh, process with um, mesh uh, attaching a mesh to an armature but as I mentioned before click on the bone you want to add a mesh to click on your mesh go to weight paint and in weight paint mode um, you press uh, you go to, to the edit mode from there and select all your the mesh that you want to connect to the bone once again you hold down alt and shift and you select each vertice one uh, loop at a time click assign set the weight you want from 0.5 to 1 or you know whatever weight strength you want click assign go back to object mode and then it's done so that's my quick tip for today at, um, troubleshooting a mesh when uh, attaching it to a an armature or a part of an armature to the bones all right uh, thanks for listening i hope you have this helps someone out there and you guys have a great time and uh, see you on the next one all right bye